Hi, Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, and today it's challenge time. So, we have here Burkus. I have two bottles, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, um, from the Great Northern Distillery. John Teeling, hey, Teeling, we know Teeling, right? So, um, he had last year, that was 2016, a special single cast, 14 year old. So, sold out very, very quickly. This is now four single casks. Well, what do you say four? I have two. I bought the one with the highest ABV, which is 100 and, I'm sorry, 57.8 ABV. And with the lowest, 56.7 ABV. The other two I didn't buy because they're at 132 euros per bottle. So that would have been almost 500 euros to buy those four bottles. And it was just a little bit too much for me at the moment. Um, Celtic Whiskey um, Store in Dublin. They are selling them as well as Irish-Whiskey.de. But they only sell within um, Germany. Now, Edward Frederick Borka and his brother John Borka were famous distillers and brewers um, from the 19th century into the 20th century. Um, they were from Dublin originally, and this is non-chilled, no-coloring, cast-strength whiskey. Now, I have all four samples. I have all the casks are 7, 8, 7,800. I have this, this 7, 8, 6, 5 with 57.3 ABV, 7866, which has 57.8 ABV, 7869, they jumped here, um, one, two casks are missing in between with 56.7, so the one with the most angel share gone, and there's also a 7870 with 57.5 ABV. As I said, 132 euros per bottle, this is basically teeling. Yeah, so that back then, John and Jack Teeling were able to take all of their um, coolie um, supplies, or most of them, 46,000 barrels, I think, with them in the deal back then with Jim Beam, and now it's Bim Beam Centauri. And so they're still selling some very, very, very nice juice. And this is their 15-year-old single cask um, release from the GND Distillery, the Great Northern Distillery, August 2017. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour, I don't know which one is which. Um, I already did my German video of this, my version, and um, I'm not going to tell you just yet the results, but um, let's see if on the next day I can repeat these results or not. It, a lot of it has to do with how you're doing on that day, how you feel, how you smell, how you taste, um, what you expect, and so on. Now, do not forget, these are all the same age. These were all distilled basically at the same time, probably even on the same day. Um, these are all stored in the same manner. Casks are just, as I said, 7, 8, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6, 9, 7, 0. So of these um, five, ca six casks, basically, they have four of them here. So they're almost the same, but yet the angel share in each one is different. Um, the lowest is 56.7. The highest is then 57.8. So that 1% ABV, 1.1% is what happens over 15 years of storage. So I'm just going to start here. Nose them reorder them, taste them, put water in them, taste in the opposite direction, and then give my, then reveal which one is which. It's a very definite Irish whiskey. I get a lot of pear on the nose and a little bit of alcohol, which is not surprising with over 50%. I'm gonna leave them exactly the way they, the way they are at the moment. Oh, this is better. So, my theory often is, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, oh, also very nice. I'm going to just mix the two of them up. All right. Now, my theory is, that often the higher proof whiskeys are better on the nose and the somewhat lower proof with the angel shares stolen more tastes better. 
Um, George T. Stagg, whenever they write, the angel share was over 80%. That is going to be a very, very good year. Um, and so that's one of those things I've discovered, let's say, for that for myself. All right, so everything over 56, 57%. So I'm just take a little nip, go through there, and afterwards I have my trusty Norling glass, which I've turned into some type of water um, reservoir for what I'm doing here. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Somewhat hot. Oh, very Irish. A lot of wood. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. More wood than I really expected. Um, I think I did a Teeling whiskey that was exclusively for the Dublin um, the, for the Cork airports. And it was called either the Rising 11 year old or the, um, the Liberty's 11 year old. Very, very similar. It was a coolie product and it had a lot of wood in there. All right, the second one. Mmm. Oh, much better. Mmm. Mmm. A lot more of that pear, a lot more of creaminess, a lot more of the vanilla, a lot more of the butterscotch. Very, very, very good stuff. Now, what I do in between is I eat a cracker. Cracker time! Cracker time! <laughs> yes, my mom did teach me not to eat with my mouth full, but hey. All right, now number four. Mm. Oh. Also a little bit of wood at the end. I'm going to leave it right where it is for the moment. Take a little sip of water here. So, I'm number two. Mm-hmm. 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 Much better. Now, I must admit, I'm not a great expert of cast strength whiskeys. I love playing with my water. And so I have about the same amount in each and every glass. So I'm just going to basically put um, this amount of water in each and every one of them. Very scientific here, I know. But, and I'm going to work from this up to this. So hopefully this still <laughs> tastes the best and then I can reveal which one of the four 15-year-old Berkus um, single cast great northern distillery releases I like. So, I've taken it down to about, I'm thinking, I hope, around 49, 50%. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Almost the perfect 47, 48%. Oh, mm. That opened it up. The wood that really bothered me at the beginning is gone. Ah, no. Wow. Much, much better. So, a little sip of water. Mm. Wow. But it does have a very, very strong taste of pear, even a little bit of overripe plums. I like this much better, and the wood is, is there, and it's, it's a little bit old. Ah. Interesting. Huh. So, now number two. I have no idea which one is which, as I mentioned. Mm. Mm hmm Wow. Very similar. Hmm. 
Yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. I have to go back for a second. Number four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, number two is exactly where it should be. So now just a little sip of water, and hopefully number one will remain where it is. Wow, the only thing I've changed right now are these two, basically. But there has been movement up and down. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Oh, nice. You get grapes this time, even. Mmm, white grapes. Oh, hmm. Is the two better? One last sip, and I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very, very similar. Hmm. Nope, I'm gonna leave them the way they are. They are. All right. So, imagine you have money for one single bottle of Burke's 15-year-old. Which one would you buy? If you listen to Whiskey Jason, you're not going to buy the bottle number seven zero, which is 57.5% ABV. So I bought number six six which has the highest, and I bought number 6.9, which has the lowest. So this was in the middle. I did not like that. You should also not buy, in my opinion, the number 6.5, which is also in the middle with 57.3%. So, haha. -ha. All right, so I bought the two bottles that I like the best without tasting them. That was pure luck. I bought with the highest ABV, Sorry, this is the lowest, and I bought with the highest ABV. And usually, as I said, the highest ABV has the best nose, and this has the best um, in the mouth. Let's see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. So, the number 66 has the highest ABV, and um, <laughs> the 69 has the lowest ABV. Um, the results yesterday in my German were almost the same. I did switch these two, by the way. And I think, um, if I'm really, really honest, both of these were very, very clear. And these are fairly close together. Um, I could have done this in either way. So, um, if you buy one bottle from Berkus, I definitely recommend buying the, as I said, the bottle number 69. That is the best, um, I just love the nose. I just really enjoy it in my mouth. Um, it's a really, really great texture. It has a nice aftertaste. A very, very nice single cast, non-chill, um, no coloring added. Irish, coolie, teeling, great northern distillery whiskey. Well, that was interesting. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of American and Germany doing weird and crazy things with exotic and rare whiskeys. Um, as I said, one barrel. So you're going to get 260, 280. Doesn't it say on here? I don't even have a bottle number. That's a shame. I do have my cast number here, but I don't have my bottle number. Oh, what a shame. All right, but that's still something very, very interesting. All right, thank you very much. My videos come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell someone else about this crazy American in Germany doing weird and crazy things, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. See you soon. Bye-bye.